The star of Narcos is no one drug lord or one trafficking organization or even a place. It's cocaine. This is a very well documented era. It's the end of 70s, beginning of 80s. It's when Mexico changed. And the evolution of the cocaine business, the trade migrated from Colombia to Mexico. And so the plan was always to begin the Mexican chapter. The reason he was so motivated was because he was affected by the injustices that were going on at the time, you know? He saw this empire being built and nobody would believe him. And that just egged his obsession. My character, uh, Miguel Angel Felix Gallardo, was a very important man for the organizing of a system that worked perfectly, that involved every level of power. He wanted to be seen as a businessman more. If you saw the pictures of the man, he was very stern. You could see that he was intense. I do have some kind of competition, um, competitiveness, and I think that that's what I try to use uh, with myself um, and the character. El Chapo worked for these guys. These guys started the whole thing. The same cocaine that, that finds its way to Mumbai, Los Angeles, Tokyo, Sydney, London, it all starts life in Colombia and moves through Mexico. So many criminals wearing suits, you know, and making decisions for countries, in politics, in, in, the, in the business sector. This whole trafficking could not happen if it wasn't with the help of all of these sectors, you know? What, the reason it's entertaining is because they don't know all of the details. Mm. Narcos makes it really good, the series makes it really good at like setting something up, which looks like it has one purpose, and then they use it for another, you're like, oh, that's what... You do spend a year with this character and uh, and with this darkness and and it's it's sometimes it's, 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 it's painful and you just want to escape you cannot fake Mexico in Arizona I think it's one of the things that makes us the success that we are is the authenticity that, that viewers can watch and, and feel even if they've never been to Guadalajara or Medellin or Cali they know that it's real. But I do remember living the, the, the 90s, which is exactly what happened after this, you know. It does connect to my childhood. It does connect to, to the moment where I, I, I started to be more politicized. Drugs are very much, as much as anyone, an American issue. We get seem to get criticized for humanizing people, which I refuse to be criticized for humanizing people. That's. That's our goal. It's not a you against me, you know, a country against the other country. Uh, this is an issue that we share. If we have to start to talk about, about this as a, as a health issue, you know, and not a security one. They will look at the show and think, this is why we need to have a wall. Now, I will look at the show and, and I would say, this is why the wall will never work. Mm -hmm.